morning everyone today is going to be a fun day because we're going to take the ponies out to an indoor arena hire that's quite local to us and they're just eating right now which is why you can hear Scotty stamping in the background but the whole thing is um, at home my ponies are really well trained and they are fantastic to work with in hand and they do everything I ask of them but when I take them to a show especially in the winter when it's cold they are absolutely nuts like they are crazy so and all the training that I've done kind of just goes out the window with them because they're just too overexcited so for the first time I'm going to be doing some groundwork with them in an actual arena so this will be fun and I've just got to muck out and then we'll get loading so see you in a bit hi everyone so I thought I'd do a little voiceover here to explain what's happening so I don't actually have a lot of videos of um, the horses working this day because I had two of them out so my mum had to hold one whilst I was working with the other and they don't stand still very well so this is just like a very basic overview of what I did with them but this is my little biscotti having a go and I'd done a warm up with their rugs on and then I'd just taken her rug off here and she kind of went a bit crazy she forgot everything that we'd done in the warm up and decided I can't walk so her problem is she jogs like non-stop and if you put even the slightest pressure on her she shakes her head and pulls and she's very very strong to lead you can't even tell but she is really strong um and it hurts my back a lot so we're trying to work on that by doing lots of transitions stop start because at home she stops every time i stop i could do like leadless work with her and she'll follow me around everywhere but yeah obviously away it's a little bit different And as you can see, she's a little bit bronchy too. <laughs> but um, she slowly got it in the end, which was good. But I'm just trying to give her little like bumps with the halter to slow her down without using a ton of pressure on her nose. Because she gets angry if you do. But she does like overtake me a lot here, as you can see. So I was just trying to correct that. And she's very wobbly when she's excited too. Like it's never usually in a straight line. But this is all just... Um, greenness from being a baby as you can see she's got a lot better here i'm just using my energy to try and get her to walk as slow as possible at this moment in time and her upwards transitions are beautiful of course she's also very distracted because by the gate she could see out into a stable yard and she's on a very quiet yard at home normally so it's very different for her it's all very over exciting when you're only one years old so this is now the showing side so you stay on the left side of them with them on the inside so the judge can see them and here she is showing her back up this is with um, no pressure she wasn't concentrating fully on me there she was again looking out the gate and I like her to stay shoulder level with me, but she just kept overtaking me. So it's again, just more corrections. This will all come in time. She never kind of got the full hang of it in this session, but she will at some point. So I'm working on trotting her here, but the reason she's shaking her head is because she pushes into me. Like she will not turn with me. She just pushes her shoulder at me. So I'm gonna start introducing some four quarter control at some point so we can get that under control and I can control her shoulder a bit better. She always goes into canter when you try and get her to extend her trot, so we'll work on that. Again, more backing up here. She's so good at this, this is her favourite thing to do. And I try not to give as many treats anymore, only when I'm introducing something new, but she was super good at doing this, so she got her little treats, which she knows are coming, of course. Now this is a bit of pivoting work or hindquarter control and she does not like this at all. She's never been asked to do this away from home. So she just gets a bit antsy and anxious as you can see here. She's not fully concentrating on me because of the gate again. And she will either push at me and come towards me like there, or she will just carry on walking through the pivot. So this is still stuff we're working on because I want her to stick her left front leg and pivot around that. So she shouldn't be moving forward, she should just be twisting around that front leg. And as you can see, she's not that keen on it. So this is very much work in progress. And I, this is the first time I've kind of been doing this too. So we're both learning. And this is my grandma having a go with Scotty too. And she's so good, isn't she? She will do it with everyone. So here we have my little filly, Sapphire. This is her first, this is probably her third training session ever. 
and her first time in an indoor arena and she was fantastic she is super sweet so she's a lot calmer like she takes things in her stride rather than Scotty gets a bit mind blown so she found this all like she was very very happy here she was um, listening to a car outside the arena and it kind of freaked her out a bit so you'll see she just kind of gets a bit excited here and obviously Scotty's coming past Yeah, Scotty getting angry in the background. <laughs> yeah, so you can see here, this is where she starts hearing the car and the horses walking in the background and it just kind of like got her a little bit anxious. So we just restarted there, gave her a pat just to say it's all right and we can start again. And then we carried on from there. But she is only 10 months old, so she is very impressive, this little one. she her one problem is she shakes her head quite a lot and now this is actually because she had really bad skin when i first got her and she was so itchy she would constantly rub her head on you and i kept trying to correct it but obviously she is just itchy like it's not her fault it's not really a bad habit so to say so now she's better with her skin i do try and correct it but it is kind of now a habit she will constantly push on you with her head so that's the only thing i need to correct with her trotting and doing a little bit of standing here just for show training. She's fantastic at this now. So that was lovely. So now we're on the show training side and she's doing super well here. Look at her trot, it's so lovely. So that's just me, she got a bit overexcited and I'm correcting her for not fully stopping at with me by backing her up. And she's taught to back up just by the pressure of the whip. So the whip is not touching her, it's just in front of her chest and she backs up on that. She's only just learned this as well, so she's really good at it. And she's doing really well here. She's a lot easier to try in hand than Scotty. She doesn't push, she's a bit more respectful about space, which is surprising because she's not like that in person. <laughs> Doing some more backing up. Yeah, she's really good at that now. It's so sweet to watch her do this. And then we're moving on to some hind quarter work with, with little Sapphire here. She's a little bit better at this than Scotty, but some, like, obviously here she's like refusing to move. So this is again, I'm still working their buttons out and so on, but she's a lot calm with this. Scotty gets anxious, not so much with Sapphire. It's again, just controlling the front end too is what we need to work on because they pivot well. Yeah, see, she gets angry with me there. She's also looking at Scotty in the corner, bless her. But yeah, she did a great job. And then of course I couldn't help but at the end I had a go at backing them both up together and they were fantastic. I've never asked them to do this before and they were super sweet at doing it. So my ultimate <laughs> goal with them is to do Liberty together. So this is a good start, I think. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching.